In this video, we will understand the definition of a third. When a square root gives an irrational number, it's called a third. You should have met square roots before in maths. If you can't remember how square roots work, revise this first, then come back to this video. An irrational number is one that can't be written as an integer, or a whole number, or as a simple fraction. So basically, irrational numbers tend to look like very messy decimals. They don't have patterns, they don't recur or repeat, and they carry on forever. So let's look at an example. The square root of 4 is 2. You will have seen this quite early on in maths. The square root of 4 is not a third because 2 is an integer, a whole number. The answer to the square root of 4 is not a big messy decimal, and therefore root 4 is not a third. The square root of 49 is 7. This is also not a third. On the other hand, the square root of 2, if you evaluate it on a calculator, is 1.414213 and so on. This is an irrational number, so root 2 is a third. On a calculator, the square root of 5 is given as 2.23606 and so on. It's another irrational number, so root 5 is also a third. Let's look at a few more examples. Here we're going to sort the numbers in the blue box at the bottom into thirds and non-thirds. If you feel confident already, you could pause the video and try this on your own. The square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 is an integer, so root 9 is not a third. The square root of 12, if you evaluate on a calculator, is 3.4641, and so on. It's an irrational number, so root 12 is a third. If you evaluate the square root of 35 on a calculator, you get 5.91607 and so on, which is an irrational number, so root 35 is also a third. The square root of 7 is 2.64575 and so on, which is an irrational number, so root 7 is a third. The square root of 16, on the other hand, is 4, because 4 times 4 gives you 16. This is an integer, so root 16 is not a third. Hopefully by now you should have spotted that when you square root an integer, if the number isn't a square number, then it will be a third. So you can quickly sort most of the rest based on your knowledge of square numbers. So 136 and 1 are square numbers. So when you square root these, you will get an integer answer, and they are therefore not thirds. 27, 20 and 54 are not square numbers, so when you square root these you will get irrational numbers, so messy decimals. So these are all thirds. I've included root 1 fourth just to highlight that we don't only deal with integers, although most of the third work you do at GCSE will involve integers. Root 1 fourth is 1 half, because 1 half multiplied by 1 half is 1 fourth. One half is a simple fraction, it's not irrational, and is therefore not a third. Now we've come to the end of this video, you should understand the definition of a third. Thanks for watching.